to do it. Okay, just have a look on how to do it. Okay, please open the PowerPoint presentation slide, sample file 00.ppt x. Don't worry, I will. I have already recorded the whole session. You may just uh, simply follow my steps, okay, and work, and 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 go back to your desk and practice the, uh, the 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 steps, okay, with the sample file, okay. So, as you can see here, okay, I have uh, two pictures, okay, the second one and the third one, right? The second first one is the apple, and the third one is a picture which is a, a cup of hot tea, right? So, how to make the effect, I just teach you, okay? Just have a look on this picture, a cup of hot tea. Okay, just simply select this graphic, and then drag and drop and move in this way. See what happened. See what happened. As you can see here, this graphic, is actually it is horror right no it's not okay it's horror that means uh the the, the the center part the graphic itself is transparent right you can see full okay the uh, the graphic and then you can see the background of the uh, of the working environment right so that means okay the first thing you need to do is to how to make this graphic a horror graphic Okay, that means that uh, you just uh, make the graphic transparent on a piece of shape. Okay, this is the point number one. And the second point is that to control C to copy this graphic and then go to second slide, control V, paste on top of this slide. Just like this. Can you do this? Can you do this? Okay. After that, okay, you can see, oh, I have already cut out the apple and then to make it as the shape of a, just like a cup of hot tea, right? But this is only the second part I would like to do because it is not yet finished. So how to to cut out it? Okay, just like look like a, a cup of hot tea. So at this moment, as you can see here, on slide two, we have two graphics. One is the uh, icon graphic, and the second one is the picture of the apple, right? So after I put the um, hot tea graph at uh, the icon graphic on top of the photo, and then press Control A. What's the meaning of Control A? Control A that means select all. That means that I have at this moment all the pictures object on slide two has already been selected, right? This is point number two, and point number three is. Can you see over here? We've got the two format over here. The first format, but the, the the first format is from the drawing tools, and the first format is from the ping, right? Picture. So I select the format, the first format, from the drawing tools, and then over here, can you see an option called the merge shape? Can you see over here? We've got an object, a, a function called the merge shape. In merge shape, we have a different merging features. The first one is Julian, nothing. Third one, combine. Fourth one, fragment, interact. And this one is subtract. Can you see? If I say, well, what I'm going to do is to what? Is to subtract, what does it mean? That means a subtract those uh, area which both for which both the icon picture and also the uh, the apple picture have color. Then we use the subtract operation. Do you know what is subtraction? Subtraction, then we just like the subtraction in uh, mathematics. Okay, we just uh, want to subtract. Okay, all the stuff we, we uh, all the stuff we are in common have color. So after we apply the subtract operation, then what you can see here is a cup of hot tea which is colored with the picture apple. Can you see this? Huh? Okay, try again. Just like this. Okay, first of all, okay, go to 
slide three, copy this picture, control C, and then go to slide two, control V. That means, okay, copy and paste. And then now we have already put the icon, icon graphic on top of the Apple photo, right? So after that, you press control A. That means select all. That means that both the Apple picture and also the icon graphic has already been selected. And then at this moment, I just go to the format options over here and then select the option merge options over here. Because I would like to subtract all, all the uh, all the all the all the overlapping uh, area of the, of both the teach, uh, of both the, uh, of the both the graphics, so I just uh, go to the use the subtract operator over here to subtract the overlaying part, and then what we got finally is a cup of hot tea with the uh, apple graphics over here. Can you see this? It seems very easy, right? It seems very easy. It's really easy. But the point is, how to make the icon graphic, okay, which, uh, which will put the icon uh, become transparent. This is another story. This is very difficult, right? How to do it? So now I have already made a cup of hot tea with an apple graphic. So the thing is, how to make this iconic graphic? This is another story, right? So how to make it? Okay. It's okay now? So now, go to the third slide, Control M, Control N, N for Lancy, that means open a new PowerPoint presentation slide. Right? PowerPoint presentation, presentation. If you would like to open a new slide, just press Control M, M for mother. Okay, now if I would like to make some similar graphics, so how to do it? Very simple. Okay, first of all, go to insert. Over here, we've got something called the shape. And then go to shape, you just select the rectangle. And then over here, just draw a rectangle on the slide, just like this. And then, okay, we have already made a rectangle, okay, on top of this slide. If I would like to cut out an icon, okay, on this rectangle, so how to do it? The method is very simple. Now, I would like to introduce another features, a new features in 2016. That is from the insert, and then what you can see here is the icon, right? If you say, I would like to select an icon, what icon? For example, like, uh, okay, I will have uh, some animal. What animal? Maybe like a uh, ribbon, rabbit, okay? Insert. Then I've already inserted a ribbon, okay, on top of this rectangle. If I jet and drop and enlarge this icon on top of the rectangle, see what happened? We've got a ribbon, okay, on top of the rectangle, right? So at this moment, how to cut out the rabbit, ribbon? Okay, from the uh, to make the ribbon be become transparent. How to do it? How to do it? <coughs> then we'll use again the merge shape as well, right? Let's try it, see what happened. Control A, that means select all. And then now go to the format. And then go to what? Go to the merge shape, see what happened. If I were you, I would try union, combine, fermented, intersect, and subtract. And then finally, what, what you can get here is nothing. Nothing can do to deal with the weapon, right? Because uh, after I use the subtract function, what happened? It will become a square, right? A square, a right square, a transparent square at the center part of the rectangle. This is not what I'm going to have. I would like to have. What I'm going to have, I'm going to have is to want, want the PowerPoint to cut out the, all the shape of the ribbon for me and to make the ribbon in transparent color, right? So how to do it? The problem is, can you see here? After I select the ribbon, the icon, basically the PowerPoint will treat the ribbon as a square. Because what you can see here is the ribbon is like a square. This part, this part, just like a square shape, uh, a, a square shape ribbon over here, right? If you would like to cut out the shape of the ribbon, then you need to break down 
the square, okay, and then to make it become a clip art. So how to do it? Just have a look over here. Just simply select the rabbit, uh, the rabbit first, and then right click. See what happened? Can you see here? We've got an option called what? Called group. And over here in group, we have another option called the ungroup, right? Ungroup. What's the use of ungroup? Just have a look here. Click ungroup, and then it will ask. Okay, this is an imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? Then I say yes. And then what I got finally is a ribbon, a, a rabbit as, as well. However, is it okay now? Just try. Control A again, and then go to Format, Union, Combine, Ferment, Insert, and Subtract. Can you see this? Because after ungroup the graphic object, then it will become Microsoft Drawing Object. Do you know what is Microsoft Drawing Object? No idea. That means, okay, the Microsoft Drawing Object is just like what you are using the shape to draw a draw, draw some graphic. So whenever if you would like to use the merge op operators in the Microsoft PowerPoint, you need to first of all to convert all the icons into Microsoft uh, Drawing Object. The method is like that, to select the uh, icon first and then to ungroup them. And then it will automatically to convert them into Microsoft Drawing Object. After you convert the icon into the Microsoft Drawing Object, and then you and then again apply the Merge Shape option over here. Union, Combine, Fragment, ins Insert, Intercept, and Subtract. And then you will find that, okay, the operator can recognize, okay, the center part, we, we, what we've got is a rabbit, a rabbit, okay? For example, this time, I just uh, used the subtract operator, see what happened. After I apply the subtract operator, then what I got here is a rabbit. And then the rabbit will become transparent. Can you do this? Okay, no worry, okay, try again. Control M again. Okay, control aim again to make a another graphic. Okay, now for example, insert again, use the shape, draw a rectangle over here. You can use different color. Okay, no matter what color you are choosing. Okay, we will got the same result. Okay, for example, okay, I make a this time I make an orange one. Okay, now insert icon for example this time okay i would like to see that another animal which is a, a pig a pig and then after that because i know okay those icon are, are only a graphics okay not microsoft drawing object i would like to convert them into a microsoft drawing object how to do it? Right click the icon and then go to the group and press the option and group again. And do you want to convert it into Microsoft Object Drawing or Office Drawing Object? Click yes. And then after that, okay, the pig is now become a Microsoft Drawing Object. And now, Control A, that means delete all the drawing object on this slide. After that, go to Format again and then choose the merge shape. And then I find that, wow, I can't select the merge shape. How come? The reason is because of the peg. It's not simple. So if you find this error, okay, then that means that you can, you can, you find that, okay, the Microsoft drawing object is not enabled, still not enabled. Then what should you do? Again, right click the peg icon and go to group and ungroup again. After you ungroup it again, try again, Control A, and go to the format, and then you will find here. Okay, if you select the subtract operation, then you can subtract out the pick icon, and then the pick will become transparent on this rectangle shape. Is it okay? That means whenever you find that okay the merge operation cannot is is 
it's not yet enabled, then what you should do? You need to ungroup again the icon. Okay, try to ungroup as much as possible to make it available for you to merge the shape together. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. Is it okay? And now, if you say, okay, how to okay cut out the peg? Okay, with uh with, with, with uh, cut out the peg. Okay, or uh, on a picture. So very simple. Control M. Okay, to open a brand slide again, and over here go to insert. Okay, just uh, look for a picture. Okay, in PowerPoint two thousand and sixteen, we have a very powerful uh powerful tools. That is the online pictures can you see the online picture option over here just simply click the online pictures option over here after that if you say i'm looking for a pig 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 and then search see what happened then we can see so many pig over here but one very important thing that is okay david how come you ask me to search for picture over here the we why what is the reason can you see over here we have already kicked this trap box, creative common only. Do you know what is creative common only? This is actually the legal terms. That means, okay, for those photos, who is a, who, uh, who, uh, the author, the author, or maybe the designer of the, of the picture, okay, if he has already registered for, uh, for the creative common, that means, okay, those pictures are free for you to use on the PowerPoint. That means if you use this kind of picture, uh, picture you have no low no, uh, legal issue for you, okay? Because in the old time, if you just simply use the Google uh, to search for picture to use in the PowerPoint presentation slide, you may offend, you may have chance to offend some uh, legal uh, legal statement, okay? However, now if you search for pictures, okay, with the creative common only a uh, chatbot chat, then you have no. Uh, you you need not to consider this this issue, okay. Now I select this pic and then insert. Then I've already got this pics, okay, on top of this slide, right? If I enlarge the picture like this and like that, see what happened. Okay. Then I can put all the pics, okay, just like this, right? So if I say I would like to cut out the peg, then what should I do? Okay. So I just uh, make the peg like this and like this. Very simple. Go to the peg icon, Control C, and over here Control V, overlaying it, and then Control A, select all, and what? What next? Go to the format and subtract. And then what I've got here is a pig. Can you see this?